So today, Kipsters, we're going to be dividing, but instead of just dividing uh, one whole number by another whole number, we're going to be dividing decimals by a whole number. The important thing to remember, though, is that even when you do dividing decimals by whole numbers, it's just like the decimal wasn't there. Uh, you see the decimal points that I put in blue? It's almost like thinking that they're not there. It'll make it a lot easier for you to divide because otherwise dividing with decimals is just like dividing without them. So let's do a sample problem number one. Uh, color of the day is blue. Uh, the problem is, the first problem A is 1.44 divided by 8 or 1 and 44 hundredth is divided by 8. So let's sing our song. Uh, it's 1.44 divided by 8. Cover up. Got enough. No. Back up. So i put my zero there. Backing up. Got enough. Yes. Give the man a seat. Count by 8. Don't pass up 14. 8, 16. Oops. 8. Finger says 1 and a 1 pops up. Mouse says 8 and an 8 goes down. Hook the line, subtract. Subtract, subtract, subtract. So you have 14 minus 8, that's 6. And then we pull down the shade. Every time we pull down the shade, we must count by 8. Don't pass up 64. 8, 16, and 24. Uh-huh, 32, 40, 48. That's right, 56, 64, stop. Finger says 8, and an 8 pops up. Mouse says 64, and a 64 goes down. Hook the line, subtract. Subtract, subtract, subtract. And 64 minus 64 is 0, which means we do not have a remainder. The very last thing that we need to do is simple. We, I like to call it, pop it like it's hot. So you see the decimal point there? You just pop it straight up. So I'm drawing a little arrow and the decimal point goes straight up in that exact space between the 0 and the 1, which leaves you a final answer of 0 0.18. Which kind of makes sense when you think about it, because if you have a dollar and 44 cents and you divide it amongst 8 of your fellow Kipsters, that would be, each Kipster would be getting 18 cents a piece. Now, problem B is a little bit more difficult, even though uh, it it uh, has a few more digits. The more, most difficult part is going to be uh, making sure that we give the man a seat in the right place. So let's sing this one. It's point zero one four four divided by 6. Cover up. Got enough. Nope. Back up. Got enough. Nope. Back up. So right now we've had to back up not once, but twice. Now we have enough, we give the man a seat. Count by six, don't pass up 14. Six, 12, 18, oops, 12. Finger says two and a two pops up. Mouse says 12 and a 12 goes down. Hook the line, subtract. Subtract, subtract, subtract. So you have 14 minus 12. Four minus two is two. One minus one is zero. And then we still have the zero there. So we can pull down the shades. Every time we pull down the shades, we must count by six. Don't pass up 24. Six, 12, 18, 24. Stop. Finger says four and a four pops up. Mouse says 24 and a 24 goes down. Hook the line, subtract. Subtract, subtract, subtract. Once again, we have zero. But very important to note here. So we've done everything we need to do, but now we also need to go to our red marker uh, and make sure that we pull the decimal point, pop it like it's hot, straight up in the air so that the answer, and the decimal point goes there, and our answer is 0 .0024. Okay, one last thing before we finish this up. Just like a regular division problem, you can always check uh, a division problem, even with decimals, by doing the quotient, which is our answer, times the divisor, plus the remainder, but we don't have a remainder in any of these problems, and it should equal the dividend. So let's try that with letter B. So we have the quotient, this is just for a check, times the divisor, the divisor in this case is 6, 
no remainders. So quick multiplication, 6 times 4 is 24. Keep the 4 and bump the plus 2. 6 times 2 is 12. That's plus 2 makes 14. Keep the 4, bump the plus 1. 6 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 is 1. 6 times 0 is 0. And then finally, as you've learned, when we multiply decimals, we need to make sure we count the number of place places to the right of the decimal point. So here's a decimal point. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 places here. Now the decimal point in this number is invisible. It's over here. We have nothing to the right there. So then down at the bottom, we should be jumping four decimal places. So we slide, slide, slippity slide. It's time for the decimal to take a rise. It goes one, two, three, four, giving us 0 0.0144, which is the same as this, which means that our answer uh, for this problem is correct.